investing in Hillview Enterprises with Mike Lachance. Number two, the defending horse of the year and Meadowlands pace champ Gallo Blue Chip, Danielle Dubé as usual for owner Martin Scharf. Number three, Riverboat King, the New Jersey Classic champ and the Adios winner, all by Scharf, Golden Touch, Stables, and Seagull with Jim Morrill Jr. Number four, the Holly Hotshot, world champion Art Dialing, Campbell for the Perfect World Enterprises. Number five, the Peter Pan Stables Warhorse Noble Ability. He's handled by Cat Manzi. Number six, Powerful Toy won the Cane Pace last year. He's owned by Newman Racing Stable and Sampson Street Stables with George Brennan. Another world champion gelding, the seven Life Source, owned by the McDonald Racing Stable with Jack Moiseev. And completing the field is number eight, Memphis Flash, owned by Adam Victor, TLP Stables, De Elegant Stables, and the Allister Stables. Dave Miller is in the sulky. No changes for the third race. A very strong field of eight lining up for the first of two graduate eliminations. The top five make next Saturday's final. They're at the post and heading toward the start. And they're off. Life Source from the outside gets the first call, but there goes Art Dialing from between horses. Gallo Blue Chip is on hurried early, but he comes away well toward the inside. Ain't no stopping him is riding the pylons up into fourth. Riverboat King drops in fifth. Noble Ability also takes an early tuck. He's sixth in behind him. That's Powerful Toy and Memphis Flash Trails and Gallo Blue Chip is out of the pocket after Art Dialing. So Dubé wants the lead with Gallo Blue Chip. Art Dialing is going to stretch him out a bit. The quarter was in 26 and 2 and now it's Gallo Blue Chip powering his way to the front. Art Dialing will yield for the pocket trip in second. Ain't no stopping him racing in third. Life Source on the inside is following fourth and it's Riverboat King fifth and Gallo Blue Chip taps the brakes. Dubé trying to back into him for a backside breather and nobody's making a move with the exception of Riverboat King who wheels to the outside from fifth. Noble Ability quickly grabs his cover and lining up behind them, Powerful Toy and Memphis Flash. So there's four in and four out. The half and 56 seconds flat, a 29 and three second quarter. It's Gallo Blue Chip on the far turn who's a length and a half in front. Our dialing is riding that pocket trip behind him. Riverboat King is moving closer, just coasting up first over and he's now second just off Gallo's wheel and using that cover to full advantage Advantage, noble ability. He's poised in a perfect striking spot. Second over. Ain't no stopping him. Is jammed in on the inside from fifth. Powerful toy. Third over. Three quarters in one. Twenty-five and one. A very comfortable middle half. And Gallo Blue Chip is trying to sprint away. He's a length and a half in front of Riverboat King with an eighth of a mile to come. Gallo Blue Chip is digging in. Riverboat King, despite the first over trip, is surging past on the outside. It's Riverboat King who's taken the lead from Gallo Blue Chip. No. Noble Ability third, a big mile from Riverboat King, who wins it. Noble Ability got second from Gallo Blue Chip in 151 and 3. Returning to the winner's circle, number three, Riverboat King. Four year old horse by Cam's Card Shark out of Why Won't Ya by No Nukes. All by David Scharf, the Golden Touch Stables, and Cliff Siegel of New York and New Jersey. Steve Elliott trains and Jim Morrill Jr. is in the sulky. Riverboat King wears down Gallo Blue Chip first over to pick up his third win of the season this mile in 151 and three-fifths. Results official and it's Riverboat King in the first of two graduate eliminations. In the winner's circle to make the trophy presentation Gary, David, Allison, and Janine. It's Gary's 19th mile. Welcome to the Big M. Number three, Riverboat King, pays 1660, 960, 210. Finishing second, number five, Noble Ability, 820, 210. And third, number two, Gallo Blue Chip, 210 to show. Exact accommodation, three and five, 9940. Trifecta, 352, pays $237.80. Post time for the fourth race, Superfecta, with no changes in 15 minutes at 832. Also, Exacta and Trifecta. Standing by momentarily in the winner's circle, Bob Hollywood Hayden with the winning The wind has kicked up quite a bit. Jimmy, how much of a factor did the wind play into the race uh, for starters? Uh, well, it always takes some toll, you know, but uh, I got to sit in uh, pretty good, and we weren't going that fast. Uh, as long as you don't really have to rush them hard into it, if you can kind of just ride, it's not too bad. 
Steve Elliott just took him back to the paddock. I asked him, Riverboat King, is he as good now as ever? He says he's always been good. What about that? Yeah, he always has been good, but uh, I think he's better now than he's ever been. Actually, he's maturing. He's he's getting actually now where he's, uh, he's, he's toughening up, you know, and uh, just a great little horse. A lot of fun to drive. Four-year-olds against older horses, any concern at all? Um... You know, it, it always is a little concern, but uh, he's just such a fast horse. If he gets any kind of trip, he can go with any of them, really. Okay, Jamal, thanks very much. David Scharf, you uh, got in on Riverboat King. When, when exactly was that? We bought him right before he baby raced at the Meadowlands. Okay, and he won that, that uh, early stake as a tree roller. Right? right, he won the Dignity right away, and actually, like Steve said, he's been good ever since. He's really never had a downtime in the two and a half years we've owned him. Now, last year, the, his starts were spaced out pretty good. Uh, I know that was by design by Steve Elliott and yourself, right? Yeah, we took our time. We won the uh, Jersey Classic here, so we got off to a good start. Then we laid him up for a little bit, and then we went out and he won the Adios. So we kind of just spread it out. Second of nose in the Classic there. Is this uh, horse kind of slipped past a lot of people? He's not kind of a marquee horse, but he always seems to be answering the call. Yeah, he always puts in his best effort, and he's not a front runner, so he, he needs a good trip, but he always gives his all. Is uh, Riverboat King, uh, you also have red bow tie later on, right? Yes. What's the, what's the update on him? Uh, the old horse is still digging in there. I think he's going to race well tonight. We're going to try probably some different racing tactics, and I think he's going to race well. Okay, David Scharf is in a lot of interest in the graduate tonight. Riverboat King has won here. Red bow tie later on, and we'll see you for the eighth, the second graduate limb. Thanks very much, Holly. Here's the order of finish for the third.